Thich Nhat Hanh, the uh, Buddhist teacher, says that the greatest gift a parent can give to a child is his or her own happiness. So I tell parents to really look after their emotional lives, to examine the stresses in their lives, and in those first few years, make the child's comfort and happiness and security their primary goal. Whatever life goals they have, put them on hold as best you can, and, and, and really create an environment where the child is connected and secure. And that child then will be set for life pretty much. And if you face stresses or anxieties or depression, deal with them as quickly as you can and get all the support you can get and, and, and um, look at what's causing it because under those circumstances, your child will be affected negatively. It used to be thought that babies are sort of blank slates on which you can write anything you want. Well, that's not true. What is true is that babies are born with um, tremendous potential. Tremendous potential for self-realization, but also for um, self-negation. Um, One of the things that have been shown in research is that attachment patterns of the parent are predictably passed on to the child. So you can do an interview with a prospective parent a couple of years before the child is born and predict how that yet unconceived child will respond to attachment issues at one year of age. And then that will predict how that child when grow up will exhibit attachment patterns as an adult. So it, it, it really is highly conditioned by the multi-generational emotional transactions that occur in a family. The human brain is not strictly a, an organ that develops according to genetics. In fact, nothing is, as I gave the example of the seed. I mean, if you want that seed to grow, you have to plant it in the right kind of ground with the right conditions of light and irrigation and, and nutrition. Well, the human brain also develops in, in response to the environment, especially the human brain, because most of our brain growth occurs after birth and not before. About 80% happens after birth, and much of that in the first three years of life. So by the end of the third year of life, the human brain is something like 80 or 90 percent adult size, whereas the human body is about 18 percent adult size. So those first three years are hugely important. Now, which circuits develop and which do not depends very much on environmental input. So a child who doesn't see light, they'll, they'll be blind after a few years because the visual circuits need light waves for their development. They just don't otherwise. Our capacity for intimate relationships, for connection, for self-regulation, for um, attention, uh, for stress regulation, these all depend on crucial brain circuits. These brain circuits require the right conditions as well. The right conditions are the presence of uh, non-stressed, non-depressed, emotionally available, consistently available parenting caregivers. We're not talking about does mother and dad love the child, that you can take for granted in most, most cases. Are the intentions good? That's always there. We're just talking about how stressed or distracted or depressed the parents may be. And the more they are, the more that will interfere with the child's healthy brain development unless they get the right support.